When you do your journal club or read research papers, sometimes you hear words like confounders or covariates, moderators or mediators. They are also confusing. So today I'm going to walk you through these terms using a simple example. This is a short snippet from my online course, Clinical Research Foundations. But by the end of this video, you will have a clear idea on what these terms mean and how to spot them in a research paper. Now, in this module, we are going to talk about all the different words, the things that cloud the relationship between exposure and the outcome. And we will be covering these four terms. First is confounder, followed by covariate, effect modifier or moderator, and mediator. So now, this is a figure showing you all the different um, relationship when it comes to mediator, moderator, confounder, covariate. But it seems very daunting at first, but I'm going to walk through each one of them step by step. All right, I'm going to start by using an example. So patients on dialysis get anemic, and sometime, sometimes they require procrit injection to increase their hemoglobin level. And a study found that dialysis patients who received procrit injections had a higher risk of stroke. So the question is, is that a direct cause or is there something else going on? The exposure here is the procrit and the outcome here is stroke. Now, the first thing we're going to learn today is confounder. Confounder is a variable that affects both the exposure and the outcome. So here, kidney failure is a confounder because patients on kidney failure or on dialysis, they tend to need procrit injection. But because kidney failure is also considered a, uh, increases cardiovascular risk, they lead to higher risk of stroke. Since kidney failure affects both the exposure and the outcome, it is a confounder. The next word, covariant. Covariate is a variable that affects the outcome, but not the exposure. So in this example here, diabetes is a covariate because diabetes does not really increase somebody's need to use Procrit, but it's a cardiovascular disease. So it increases somebody's risk of stroke. So it affects the outcome, but not the exposure. The next word, moderator or effect modifier. So it is a variable that modifies or alters the relationship between an exposure and an outcome. And I like to highlight moderator here, or modify, okay? Because modify means what? Strengthen, diminish, negate, or interact, means exert influence on. So let me give you an example. What we found was that hemoglobin is a moderating variable. Okay, the association of procrit and the risk of stroke depends on the hemoglobin level. So we found that if hemoglobin is more than 12, there is an increased risk of stroke. If hemoglobin is less than 12, there is no increased risk of, uh, of stroke. So in other words, the association of procrit and the risk of stroke is modified by different hemoglobin subgroups, low hemoglobin versus high hemoglobin. The next term, mediator. Mediator is in the causal pathway. So it is a variable that explains how the exposure and outcomes are related. And why the term mediator? If you think about it, mediator is the middleman. It's the person that makes things happen. So what is the mediator in this situation? So it turns out that increased thrombosis is the mediator. So Procrit increases the risk of thrombosis and it's the thrombosis that causes stroke. So now it's the middleman. So increased thrombosis is a mediator uh, variable. So to summarize, Procrit is the exposure, stroke is the outcome. Kidney failure is the confounder. Diabetes is a covariate. Hemoglobin level is the moderator or effect modifier, and thrombosis is the mediator. These are the clues on what the researchers are referring to. When you see the word adjustment or adjusted using regression model, 
it means they are talking about confounder or covariate. When you see the word interaction, subgroup analysis, or subgroup forest plot, they are talking about effect modifier or moderator. So this is a forest plot for subgroup analysis. I'm going to walk you through it. Now, let's determine the outcome. The outcome is survival. Next, the exposure, drug A and drug B. Now, let's talk about moderator. The moderator are basically the subgroups, baseline ECOG, baseline BPI, bone mats, and age group. Now, I want to bring your attention to the age. So there are three subgroups in the age category. And you can see how the hazard ratio changes depending on which subgroup it is. So that means the patient's overall survival is modified by which age group they are in. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. In the future, I will be making more videos on fundamental concepts of research and statistics. But if you're interested in a more in-depth guidance on clinical research and academic writing, check out the online course at publishmd.com.